Hey there, it's Elliot here. Today, we're diving into a topic that has been a headache for many of you. Yes, we're talking about that annoying iPhone locked to owner message, or as it's technically known, the iCloud activation lock. You might have encountered various services, softwares, or methods claiming to remove this lock from your Apple devices. But let's be honest, not all of them work as they claim, right? Plus, some can even pose security risks or hefty fees. Well, hang tight, because I've set out on a mission to discover the fastest, safest, and most importantly, cost-free methods to get you out of this pickle. I'll reveal several legal tricks that work on iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. So, stick around for the answer you've been desperately seeking, and let's get that annoying iCloud lock off your devices for good. Let's get started. This information is meant for those who own their device, but need to remember their login details. We don't support shady stuff, like bypassing security on pinched gadgets. We always respect the law and the rights of others. We're sticklers for YouTube's guidelines and community standards. All right, with all that cleared up, let's dive in. Now, a buddy of mine recently got caught up in this iCloud locked situation. He'd picked up this sleek iPhone at a secondhand shop, but realized it was iCloud locked. Imagine his frustration. But then he stumbled upon safe unlocks. It was a breeze, and he unlocked his phone without hassle. And then you've also got iUnlock app, another solid choice for getting rid of that annoying iPhone lock to owner message. Quite a few folks I know have had smooth sailing using iUnlock app. Then there's Unlock Here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having your very own tech whiz working through the problem. It's super straightforward and efficient, not to mention it's AI powered. How cool is that? Last but not least, we've got Lock to Owner. It's like the new kid on the block, but don't let that fool you. They're quite the contender when it comes to iCloud unlock services. Each of these services has its strengths, and it's all about finding what works best for your situation. All right, now that we've laid out your options, let's take a closer look at how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant in the next step. Stay tuned for that. Just a heads up, folks. Our unlocking services predominantly work in first world countries. If you can't access these services or would instead not utilize them, we have something extra relaxed for you. You can be one of 250 lucky users every week who get their phones unlocked for free. Yes, you read that right. Here's the scoop on how it works. Like this video. Simple. Hit that subscribe button. That way, you stay in the loop with all our awesome content. Drop a comment below the video. You need to include the model of your phone, say, Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and the country you're in. That's it. As soon as you complete these three things, you'll be automatically entered into the draw. It's pretty neat. So, what are you waiting for? Like, subscribe, comment, and let the unlocking magic happen. All right. Here's how it works with unlockhere.com, an AI-powered web app that can tackle any mobile phone restriction you're dealing with. First, you will head to unlockhere.com on your phone's web browser or computer. Once you're there, you'll see Nifty, the AI bot. Let Nifty know you're looking to unlock your iCloud by clicking on Activation Lock. Then, you'll select which device you're dealing with. In this case, we're choosing an iPhone, but you could also select an iPad or Apple Watch if you have those. This next part is important. You've got to enter your device's IMEI or serial number. Every iPhone has an IMEI, but an iPad or Apple Watch might only have a serial number, especially if it doesn't have a SIM card slot. You can find this information on your locked device. Just press the sleep button, hit it again, and tap on the I at the bottom right. This will show you your device info. Don't forget, on the next step, you'll need to put in your device information. Next up, you'll need to enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure the information is correct so you can get your order confirmation. They'll send you a confirmation code via email that you'll need later. Just check that you agree with the terms and are not trying to unlock a stolen device. Solve the quick capture to prove you're not a bot, then hit start process. At this point, you should have received an email with a confirmation code. If you don't see it, check your spam or junk folder. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. You'll need to enter it there and prove you're not a robot once again. As soon as you've entered the code, your unlock process will get started. And before you know it, your device will be free from that lock. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. 
And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. That's it for this method. It's pretty easy, right? Now, stick around because we've got more for those who want a different approach. So don't go anywhere. Now, just like you, I've been scouring the internet for answers. And let me tell you, there's a lot of chatter out there. Some good, some not so much. I decided to do some serious digging to answer some of the less frequent queries to deliver that unique insight we're all craving. The first thing you should probably know is that there are indeed legal ways to remove iCloud activation lock. And, coming from a pal, sticking to the legal side always saves you headaches later. Trust me. Here's a couple of methods you can test out. Ask the previous owner to unlock it. Now, this might seem like a no-brainer, but you'd be surprised how frequently it works. Just ask the previous owner to remove the iCloud activation lock. They're usually happy to do it if they forgot or didn't realize it. Use the device's original receipt. If you have the original receipt for the device, you can take it to an Apple store and they can help you out. Again, this is simple and completely legal. Official unlock services. Of course, there are official unlock services like the ones I've mentioned previously, like Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. They're great at what they do and always keep things above board. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you got what you need. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next one.